Hi guys, it's your low carb queen here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you to my new viewers. I'm glad that you're uh, liking some of the videos that I'm putting out. And I hope you stick around and subscribe. And also thank you to the new subscribers. So today I'm cooking a ribeye steak, which is one of my favorite cuts in the air fryer. I'm taking a chance on this because I like my steak medium rare to medium. And so I looked at a couple videos and let's just jump in and see what's going to happen. Okay, so right now I'm going to season the steak with some pepper. I'm going to season it with some uh, Himalayan sea salt just a little. As you can see, I'll have to put that in, the, um, in my hands because that sea salt comes out a lot at a time and I don't want to um, over salt it. And then I think that's all I'm putting on here. Just some salt, good old fashioned salt and pepper. Oh yeah, I'm also adding some onion powder. I love onions, but I'm just gonna add onion powder because I really don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm also adding a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna drizzle it with olive oil. And guys, I never know which one to do first. Do you put the olive oil on first and then your seasonings, or do you put the seasoning on first and then your olive oil? You know, my thought process was to put the seasoning on first and then, you know, put the olive oil on and rub it all in. You guys let me know what you do or what you think or is the appropriate or proper way to do it. Okay, guys, so after I finish seasoning it, seasoning it and rubbing in the um, olive oil, it's going to go into the air fryer on 400 degrees for eight minutes. I know that um, when you do this, the thickness of the steak has a lot to do with it. I'm going to definitely try this again. So here we go guys, eight minutes in, and this is what it looks like. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to leave it in here. I'm gonna drop the temperature down to 380, but I'm only gonna leave it in here for five more minutes. Okay, so five minutes later and here we are. I'm going to let the steak sit for about five minutes before I cut it open. Okay, so as you saw, I added some butter and I let it sit for five minutes. Now we're ready to cut it open. Okay guys, I'm somewhat disappointed because the steak is well done, okay? I basically overcooked it and oh well, let's go in for the taste. Looks good and it tastes absolutely delicious. So I wanted you to see also that there were some other parts of the steak that were medium. And so that meant a couple of things. Number one, the steak did not cook evenly because I did not let it sit long enough. It was, when it came out of the refrigerator, it was still cold when I started to cook it. And then I think overall, when I do this again, I'm not gonna cook it as long on, on both sides, maybe like seven minutes on one side and three minutes on the other side. That way I can make sure that it is medium rare the way I like it. But overall, the flavor was good. It was just, it was a good experience cooking the steak in the air fryer. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video with your low carb queen. I keep trying not to say keto queen, with your low carb queen, low carb journey, low carb life, with your low carb queen, 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 queen. And remember, every day is a new beginning. Bye-bye.